every single flight was canceled, diverted, or delayed. And crashed right onto the White House grounds. Because of the drug. Exploding in midair. Two blocks away, another drone is seen. Doesn't appear to be terror related. And it sends the crowd fleeing. The presence of a drone and any kind of disturbance uh, resulting from that is a major threat to the safety of the staff that work in the facility. Before we started using D-Drone, the only way to identify drones uh, was basically someone would look and see them. Since we've uh, installed uh, the D-Drone software and hardware protection suite, we now have an alert that gets generated uh, anytime a drone enters the airspace, which can then in turn cue our staff to start looking actively for flying objects. One of the really cool things is you don't even have to be staring at the screen to get the alert. It'll send a text message, it'll send an email, it'll let you know that there's something flying around. So we can, we can receive the alert literally almost anywhere where we are with, with some sort of connected device. I also had it set up on my laptop where then I could go off to the side and actually just pull up the whole map of the property. And initiate that, that scan procedure to check the airspace. Now we are not dealing with speculation. All that information is key when you, when you actually understand drones. And those are really, really concrete numbers that we can use to evaluate the potential threat moving forward. So now we know where we need to spend our money and we can do it a lot smarter. We evaluate this ongoing. Every facility has staff assigned to uh, monitor uh, or be responsive to the alerts. And then at the headquarters level, we monitor monthly and publish a report monthly on traffic at all facilities that have D-Drone sensors installed. So I was very familiar with D-Drone and other companies out there. And, and for me, it was, no, it was really no other option.